300 acres of land over in that direction has already attracted Panasonic's $4 billion investment over the next few years. But behind that gate, there's a lot more land that residents hope can bring a lot more money once it's safe. The long road towards making the Sunflower Ammunition Plant safe for redevelopment is a journey Pam Ferris doesn't feel very good about. He used to work out there, and I say it will never be cleaned up. John and Pam Ferris own about 15 acres nearby, and years ago, John drove a truck at the facility before it closed in 1997. He's less worried about what's still there, but it's the Army's and Thomas's job to explain to the community why the years of remediation work will make the old ammunition factory safe. It was our process, our mission, and so no, we don't no longer have a mission or a process, so we have to return it back the way that uh, it's usable for whoever has it. The challenge is that the Army manufactured explosives and rocket propellants here, with much of that work coming decades before any sort of environmental safety regulations. So to meet state and federal safety standards now, it means exhaustive soil sampling and a lot of demolition where the most dangerous materials were handled. Taking some of those buildings down, removing the slabs, removing the footings, removing the walls, and the sewers, you know, whether they're inside the building or outside. For residents like Pam and John, it's important work. Their new neighbor, Panasonic, is getting ready to invest billions of dollars, bringing thousands of jobs to their doorstep. As the cleanup continues, it opens up more land for more investment. And Pam and John are sitting on 15 acres in a very desirable location. And this will, if it's successful, <laughs> the property values will go up, hopefully. Oh. Panasonic's land is 300 acres that's part of a thousand that's already cleaned up and ready to be built on. The Army says they'll be doing remediation on the rest of the land until at least 2028, but then they'll be around for 20 to 30 years after that to handle any other remediation issues that pop up then. In DeSoto, I'm Kevin Barry, Fox 4, working for you.